us this morning, especially when it comes to our basements or some of our property, because there's a flood watch in effect for all of Western. And if New your York. basement tends to flood when we have heavy rain and melting snow, this is the time to yeah. prepare because we're going to see some heavy rain as the day moves along and all the snow that is left is going to be melting. So this morning rain is arriving. We have the rain in the north towns right now. It'll continue to fill in as the morning moves along this afternoon. Heavy rain expected with falling temperatures and then tonight the rain's going to mix with and change over to snow, sleet and freezing rain. We'll have what we call a flash freeze. That's when temperatures drop below freezing very quickly. That's what's going to happen tonight. So all the standing water is going to become ice by tomorrow morning. Looking outside, 53 degrees with some light rain here in Buffalo. Winds out of the southwest at 23 miles per hour. We have winter weather advisories in effect later today through 9 a.m. on Friday. For all of western New York, the advisories start uh, 5 p.m. in the north town, 7 p.m. here in the metro area, 9 p.m. across the southern tier. Bottom line, we'll have the winter weather advisory in effect later today through Friday morning. We also have that flood watch in effect right now through 7 p.m. on Friday. Friday for all of Western New York. Again, if your basement is, uh, you know, tends to flood when we see a lot of rain and snow melt, uh, prepare now as we're definitely going to see that later on today. Potential is there for ice jam flooding. Could see moderate flooding. Tonawanda Creek uh, at Batavia, Buffalo Creek and Ellicott Creek, minor flooding for Casanova Creek and Cayuga Creek and Tonawanda Creek at Rapids. Cresting Friday, so the waters will rise rapidly overnight tonight and into tomorrow. That's why that flood watch does run until 7 p.m. on Friday. But we are forecasting some min minor to moderate flooding, so definitely pay close attention if you live near those creeks and streams. Looking at the radar right now, like I said, the rain is making its way into western New York. You're going to find that rain. Ransomville toward Lewiston, over toward Newfane. We'll take you street level to Newfane, and you're going to find the rain along Transit right now. Corwin Avenue up toward uh, East Avenue, Maple Avenue, Ketchum Avenue, West Creek Road, Edward Avenue. Edward Avenue. What a street that is. And uh, that's where that rain is right now. We zoom out, and you're going to see a lot of moisture to our west, and this is slowly pushing its way into western New York. And on the back side, notice the snow. 53 in Buffalo, 55 right now in Dunkirk. Wet roads for your morning commute as that rain moves in. A little breezy as well. Temperatures will drop to near 50 by 10 a.m. Here's your super seven-day forecast. You can also see that QR code on your screen. You can scan that with your phone. It'll take you uh, to our app so you can get the latest on the weather. Temperatures today in the low 50s. They'll drop later today. And like I mentioned, we're going to have some uh, freezing rain tonight. And that could certainly cause some issues. So as far as ice totals are concerned, we're talking about uh, a few hundredths of an inch to about a tenth of an inch of ice that would serve certainly create some slippery conditions across the region. That's for tonight into early Friday. And then you're going to start your day on Friday with some snow. How much snow? Well, let me show you. Temperatures on Friday will only be in the low 20s, and we will have snow around the area. Highest snow amounts will be in the north towns, about four inches of snow in Niagara Falls, about one to three inches of snow elsewhere, with lower amounts from Bradford toward Olean over toward Wellsville. On Saturday, snow showers breezy near 30. Sunday, we're back in the 40s. We hope